Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darren Walker, and along with Neil Strandberg, we'll be chairing this session. Secure and inclusive cities. Is the idea of a secure and inclusive city just an ideal, or is it possible? Do any of us know of examples of secure and inclusive cities in the world? Is it possible to think about an urban environment where there is shared prosperity, where there is a collective sense of a collective future and an interconnected and highly dependent world? Today, we are going to talk about the idea of a secure and inclusive city. And I'll just make a very brief remark, and that is, as, a, as an American here in Sao Paulo for the first time, I'm actually quite struck by this extraordinary city. My own urban sensibility is informed by my own American experience. And the urban experience in America, in many ways, can be summarized on the, the idea of the New York and Los Angeles axis. The idea that you've got a global city that is highly urban, highly dense, and is the center of business. And at the other extreme, you have a global city that is highly dispersed, that seems to go on forever and ever and ever, and for which the idea of governance, a coherent governance, is a very, very difficult challenge. But here in Sao Paulo, you seem to have achieved both of those. You seem to be a city that is quite dispersed and in many ways seems to go on forever and ever and ever, but you are clearly the business capital of this country and in many ways of this entire continent. So I think we have a lot to learn from Sao Paulo, and we have a lot to learn today from a very distinguished group of panelists who will be introduced momentarily. Um, Niels, I wanna give you an opportunity to say a word and then we'll get going. Thank you. Um, I'm the, um, one of the owners of a magazine called America Economia, and we every year publish a ranking of the best cities uh, to do business in the region. And one of the major uh, uh, points for ranking those cities is security. Uh, at a moment like this, where the um, economies of the world are in turmoil, uh, most likely uh, security will take an added weight uh, it will become a major issue in most of the cities of Latin America if you look at historical circumstances. So I look forward to this uh, conversation and I'm very pleased to be here. 